Greetings. I have a new mission for you on behalf of the Republic. We have traced the Iridian freighter you rescued back to the Chaltong system. Years ago, the Chaltong system held a Romulan research facility studying polaric energy. It was nearly destroyed in a polaric energy explosion. Since then, a colony of Iridians has settled on the planet. Recently, it has become a hotbed of strife. This is the first incident we've had with the colony, and we suspect weapon smuggling is occurring. We have heard rumors of one weapons dealer in particular on Chaltok, a Riemann. We'd like to make sure that none of the weapons there are going to be turned against New Romulus. We need you to travel to the Chaltok system and investigate these allegations. Okay, I sir. Yes, command uh, sub commander Nadal. Time is short. What do you need? Right. Okay, so we have a mission. Well, let's get on with the mission. Uh, we'll auto navigate on the way there. And while we're doing that, let's just see. I have two skill points to assign. Targeting experience, impulse, right. So the electroplasma flow should help uh, get power to where it needs to be. Impulse should mean that we are able to be more maneuverable and uh, a little bit faster. Uh, that's that. Uh, we've got no ground points to use. That's done. So how much further is it to where we need to be? Oh, it's a fair way. So let's actually transport. And we're now at the Chilcock system. Begin the price of neutrality. Centurion, we have uh, visual on the enemy ships, uh, but they do not see us. We can try and open hailing frequencies with them, or we can launch a preemptive strike. You should know that any attempt. Uh, uh, diplomacy will give them time to alert other patrols in the area to our presence. Your orders. Ooh. I'm gonna hail them. Hailing frequencies open, sir. No response yet. They might be waiting to strike. They might uh, re may respond when we get closer. Okay. So we will cloak move off the direct line Fight me, Suprema Sport! These scavengers have hardly been worth our time But a ship like yours, that is a fine prize! Power up your weapons and engines Make this a proper hunt I'd rather not have to tolerate the endless yammering of your Federation allies. And hear about the colony, we know you're uh, getting weapons from them. Why would we need the worthless weapons of our cowardly prey? Your Federation masters have sent you on a fool's errand. We can still end this peacefully? <laughs> Listen to the prey prattle on about peace. How like your Federation Masters you have become. You will find the peace you seek in death. Better let. Well. Corrosion, that didn't work too well for you. Oh, we have more.
Right, so more ships beaming in. Wow, what wonderful impulse speed we have. Mind you, our power is going to weapons primarily. There's more. Right, two hunter escorts of a seeker frigate. That's uh, the hunter escorts are the more dangerous ones here. Let's cloak and try and take this odd one. Oh, we're entering atmosphere. Decloak, fire. Got that one. And we're still in the outer edges of the atmosphere. We'll cloak again. So two frigates and an escort. Right, well, we'll try and take the escort first and then we'll finish up with the frigates. A little bit closer. A little bit closer. Come on. Give a first to plasma as well. the escort dealt with. Balance the power back up so we've got more available for it. Engines! Surgeon really need to think about their priorities. Right, so now if we Yeah and the plan is secure, sir. Uh, dropping uh, into a standard orbit. Sensors have picked up uh, an area near the colony site and the surface has been blocked from our scans. We're definitely hiding something. Uh, we'll beam you down as close to the area, uh, but if I were you, I'd expect some sort of trap. Okay. I don't really have any choice. That is my entire bridge crew, but I'm happy with that. They're a good bunch, on the whole. Just kind of check their equipment state. Sniper rifle or a full auto. You have a plasma sniper. You have a pulse wave, which is a short range Ooh, plasma stun. I think we need to. He has a pulse wave, short range. Right, okay, so we don't really have too much choice at the moment. We can't, can't use that. Okay! Oh! Uh, armor, yeah. Where are we with armor? So, everybody is got the best I've got available. Right. So let's go down.
come on. We will get there. We will. There we go. Press any key. Centurion, uh, we're able to better re get a better read on the colony now that we're on the ground. Uh, the colony seems to be made primarily of Uridians. We're not detecting any weapons, but our uh, sensors are still being jammed by something on the ground. The best option will be ask the colonists for information. Understood. Go away, we don't need, one, need the Romulan Republic here. Okay, a friendly. What does the Romulan Republic want with us? Colony? Yeah, it's nice. Nothing unusual going on here. Leave us alone, alright? Go bug the guy in charge. Go away. We guy in charge, he's past the gate. Ariman. Go talk to him. Open the gate. Welcome to my colony, Centuria. Ah, another, another refugee of Romulus. Welcome. I am the leader of this small band. You may call me Lortrix. I assume you were behind destroying those erosion ships around the planet. We're all very thankful for that. The Herogen have been bothering us for quite some time. I would hate to think what would have happened if you didn't arrive when you did. What do you do here on this colony? We mainly supply merchant ships with various minerals, and we have a small ore refining operation. It's not much, but it keeps us alive. The Herogen have been harassing us for quite some time, unfortunately. They want to use our facility to manufacture weapons. You and I both know what will come of that. And no one here wants to get involved in someone else's war. You understand, don't you? Uh, I, I believe he's lying through his teeth, but I'm going to go diplomatic. I believe you, Loratrix. Colony seems safe. That is a relief. Look, why don't I show you around our colony, just to relieve any lingering <laughs> doubts? I would love to establish a better relationship with you and the Robulan Republic. I hoped our location would allow us to remain neutral. But it doesn't seem like that is possible anymore, does it? Talking to my chief engineer would be a good place for you to start. Talking to my chief engineer would be a good place for you to start. Didn't you just say that? Very well. Speak to the chief engineer. Uh, hello. I'm, I'm the, the chief, chief engineer, engineer around here. here. This, this colony is barely holding together. together. At, At night, night I can hear the creaks and sparks of instruments as they crack in the cold. We need supplies. Good quality Federation supplies. Our replicator is barely working, and the heat systems are spotty at best. All of our energy goes toward keeping our mining equipment up to date. Still, I'd much rather be here than out there in the war. I do hope you're here to ensure it stays that way. Ooh, I am, don't worry. You wouldn't happen to have met a woman named Rina Kev, would you? It's, it's okay. okay. You, you don't, don't have, have to keep, keep asking. asking. I, I appreciate, appreciate your help, help on Gasco and the Suliban Helix, but... Rina is gone. I need to accept that and move on. How, how far have we gone, gone only to find no sign of her? It'd, It'd be better if I just learned to live with the loss. Instead of chasing a foolish dream. Let's keep moving. I won't stop searching, Tova. I promise. Alright. So, 
investigate the cargo. A cache of food. Some ore. Interesting. Clothing. Right, investigate suspicious activity. So, snowplow is not firmly packed. Tech officers should be able to figure out a way to use this to their advantage. Leave. Anyone, I swear. You're acting awfully suspicious for someone not bothering anyone. I'm sorry. Look, they told me to send a message when you were done scanning the cargo. I don't know anything. I don't know why they told me that. All I know is that I see people using the consoles nearby. That's it. Cause, don't cause any more trouble. Right, is there anything around? But I'm an engineer, not a science officer, unfortunately. This turret looked like it was overloaded recently. It looks like several wires and major, and major systems were fried due to the cold. Your engineering training will allow you to easily repair it and set up the turret so it will attack anyone hostile to you or your ooh, and or your away team. Definitely doing that. So it's this nothing there on that one. Oh, you have a another turret. Is that a camera in there? It's a camera, but it's not seemingly working. Activate computer. Unlock failed. Okay, that's interesting. So I think I can unlock it if I this disrupt camera circuitry. Centurion, Tricoda sounds are picking up a heavy concentration of electromagnetic and gamma radiation to the southeast of our location. According to this computer, colony buildings in that area are residential dwellings. I find that unlikely. The amount of radiation I'm de uh, detecting would be unhealthy for most species. They're hiding something. Check it out. Prepare yourselves. Anything up here? No? Nothing there. Investigate the building. Open hidden door. Open hidden door, okay. Open hidden door. It's amazing what you can do with a uh, tricorder. Um, yeah, okay. Missiles. Warheads at the very least. We also have a Delta uh, Iconian item here. We'll pick that up. This might be just what we need to access the Iconian Gateway Network. 
And until we are able to stop the Iconians and their heralds from appearing wherever they want, there is no place in this galaxy that will be safe from them. Okay. Some mineral over there to collect as well. Check computer records. Shipping manifest. This colony is supplying weapons to the Herogen. They're receiving weapons from other colonies scattered about the neutral zone and across this entire sector. This uh, preset targeting information. Some of these weapons uh, could be used against uh, Romulan, sorry, Republic friendly targets. Centurion, my tricord uh, has, uh, has just registered an odd low band spoke space signal. I think accessing this computer may have triggered something. Yeah, Lorix tricks lied to us. We have been trapped in the warehouse. Excellent. Activate the transport inhibitors to stop them from being out. Very well. Do you have any further orders? Just stay out of our way while we subdue the prey. Okay, so... What weapon is that one? I mean, right. Probably stick with the Try and persuade them to come and get us. So, medical generator, some mines out the front to protect us, and now. And there's more. Right. Ooh, and there's more up there. Uh, five to get some more. And Rangy jelly meal worms, eh? Wow. anymore you've not been doing anything so do our medical bay
Where are they? Nope. I think there must have been some mining close to us or something. So there's another console to get somewhere. Silly letting me set up my uh, Relatively new run. Um, I set it up, uh, set this one up at the last Delta recruitment weekend, or week, week event. Anyway, it's good that you're able to join us. Why are you doing this? You terrorists! You care nothing for the common people. The Talsha, they protect us, make us stronger. You either choose a side. Or you die, surrounded by the dogs of war, supported, supported by no one. Even in death, I stand by my choice. Leave, leave me to die. No, oh, transport lyrics, sick bait. Not just yet. Any other goodies? another anomaly over here let's beam up then situation is developing we are attracting multiple enemy ships on approach at high warp and estimate they will be in the system within a few minutes your safety, we would like to request that you return to the bridge immediately. Okay, beaming up. Didn't know I'd got any uh, Andorians and the crew, but there you go. St Centurion, the incoming fleet will be on us any moment. Reinforcements will be here shortly, uh, but not before we're under attack. There's a deactivated turret nearby. We Load it, use uh, it, help us hold out until reinforcements arrive. That makes sense. Here they come. Right. So we've got a, a Federation warship is arriving, or Federation cruiser is arriving. Okay. Take out 
Hunter Escort. Oh, there's the cruiser. They are being hammered by... Uh, They didn't like missiles. San Antonio would appear to be more a battleship, eh? quite some time. Finish up anything here and warp out. I'll check back with command. Don't take too long or I might take some of the credit for myself. Understood. Right. Hey, up. When you tripped our monitoring program, the Star Empire sent me to investigate. Our intel said you were part of the terrorist cell on Baronaut, but your actions here suggest otherwise. I'm here to make you an offer. Renounce your terrorist allies and come with me and fight for the glory of the Romulan Star Empire. I am authorized to grant you amnesty for your past crimes if you agree to serve the Empire again. If you agree, we would like you to remain within Tatan's terrorist cell for the time being. He trusts you. The intel you could gather would be very valuable. The Empire rewards its loyal children well, but it also punishes its enemies. Consider your decision carefully. Wow. Why have you been watching me? Charma. You can't trust her. I know her too well for that. We grew up together. I was her friend. Her... But that's all over. It ended the day she joined the Tall Shiar. Why are the Tall Shiar watching me? Tovan Kev is with you. I should have known. You were one of us. A child of a lost world. The Tall Shiar keeps a close eye on this colony. When you started poking around in the weapons facility on Chaltok, you tripped one of our security programs. You saw what happened to Loratrix. He sacrificed his heritage, his life, for what? To take orders from the Herogen? I can't begin to fathom that, throwing away everything in exchange for something so small. I'm here to make sure you do not do the same. I have no reason to trust anything you say. Yeah, and yeah. What's wrong with Tacroms, eh? What's wrong with Tacroms? I have no reason to trust anything you say. You don't understand yet, but you will. The Romulan Republic is a terrorist organization. Datan and his followers are inciting Romulans and Remans to take up arms against the legitimate government of the Romulan Star Empire. Think about it. The military and the Tal Shiar are the only means of guaranteeing security for those of us who survived the destruction. The military has the ships and the manpower. The Tal Shiar has the information and the intelligence network. This new homeworld Datan wants is an illusion. Why start over in contested space near the Federation and the Klingon Empire? Why would Datan choose a system in such a turbulent and dangerous area unless he knew he could guarantee they wouldn't risk attacking him? He certainly isn't going to do that with pretty words. Uh, 
Dutan is a peaceful man. The Republic has re uh, diplomatic ties with the Federation and the Klingon Empire. Dutan may have you fooled, but don't just take my word for it. See for yourself. Why do you think that Choltok is shipping weapons? And they're not the only colony world involved in those kinds of operations. You think that this sort of business wasn't going on elsewhere? Perhaps even on Viranaut, right under your nose. Datan's only showing you what he wants you to see. I can show you the things that the Republic is trying to hide. Believe me, or don't, you don't have to trust me. Just trust the evidence. When you are ready to learn more, I'll be ready to show you. We encountered Hurrigin. I thought they worked the Tal Shiar. It's true. The Tal Shiar has employed Hurrigin contractors from time to time for certain tasks. But the Hurrigin are the Empress's allies, not her slaves. They are free to do what they wish. I don't trust you, and this conversation is over. Centurion, the ship has gone to war. Chief Medical Officer reports that Noratrix didn't make it. He attacked the uh, medical team while they were, uh, because they were the enemy. He was sedated for treatment, but he was too far gone. Uh, do you want to talk uh, to Kev about the Telshia? Do you want to talk to the... That don't make sense, is you're supposed to be speaking. I do, yes. There's a lot I have to say about Charba. As you may have guessed, we used to be quite close. There's a lot of history between us, but all that's really important is that we went separate ways. She thought that the Tall Shi'ar could ensure security for our people, and I didn't. It's just bringing up a lot of old feelings. Right. Everybody plays Tack. Yeah, I suppose everybody does. I'll tell you the truth. I actually created a Klingon recruit that's a TAC, a Romulan recruit that was an engineer. I did create a temporal recruit uh, that was a science uh, to stream. And one thing happened, uh, the next thing that happened to it, and I wound up. Yeah. But this is this was an engineer one, so I could show I could stream the three different ways of uh, uh, of playing. Um, I wound up actually having a tax streamed for the temporal recruit, but I have the engineer. Sorry, I have the science that I hope to bring in very shortly. Okay, Tev, what do you know about Java? As I mentioned, we have a turbulent past. We grew up together. Once, I thought we might have a future together. Those were in the dark years after the destruction of the homeworld. We survived, but it tore us apart. We just wanted to make a new start. She was convinced that nowhere was safe. She kept talking about working with the military or the tall Shi'ar. I argued that the only way we'd be safe was to be able to stand up for ourselves. There's a lot I have to say about Charba. All right, As you may have you guessed, said that. What do you think of her claims? I don't believe Tatan is a terrorist. I think he's an idealist who's trying to come to terms with chaos. Tatan would never knowingly sanction violence, especially against innocents. He doesn't even like us fighting the Tal Shi'ar, although he sees the need. But Tatan isn't the only person making decisions in the Republic. Maybe there are some people who see the Republic as their chance to have a little revenge. I don't know. I think Charva is wrong about Tatan and the Republic, but that doesn't mean it's outside the bounds of possibility that someone has taken things too far, or has a secret program that Tatan doesn't know about. If she knows something that we don't, we should try to find out what it is. There's a lot I have to say about Charva. Right, can we trust her? Well, Charva's not a bad person. At least she wasn't. But she is misguided. She's turned a blind eye to the excesses of the Tall Shi'ar, and she probably doesn't even know about most of them. The Tall Shi'ar are masters of propaganda, after all. I think that anything she tells us is going to be something that the Tall Shi'ar wants us to hear. We should gather our own evidence, and draw our own conclusions. Okay. There's a lot I have to say about That's Shi'ar. That's all I need to know. Not just yet, I want to pick up this ore. Uh, 
and we'll depart the system. Yeah, I enjoy the different ways of uh, playing. I enjoy the uh, um, engineering. I enjoy uh, the science. Your findings yes. are distressing. I'll, I'll pass, pass this along to Republic, Republic Command. Command. As, As for Charba, Charba I, think I think the best course of action right now is to wait for her next move. If she's really desperate to make her case, she'll contact you again. If she does, keep me informed. Nadell out. Okay. Time is short. Congratulations. Congratulations.